So, in this video, we're going to be doing a couple stories slash tales from when I was in high school. These are just going to be light-hearted ones. Funny, sometimes embarrassing, you know, stuff like that. If you guys have any story that you think is crazy embarrassing or just funny, put it down in the comments. I'll make sure to read it and like it. Anyway, let's get to the first story. So the first one is about a friend that has been featured on this channel. His name's Jared. And Jared had a situation, an arson situation. So how it started out, we're just, you know, in class doing normal thing, boom, boom, doing all that normal shit. I forgot which class we're in. I think we were in, I think we were in last period. No, 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 it wasn't last period. It was like third or fourth period. Yeah, about third or fourth period. We're sitting there. Jared gets called into the office. We're like, ah, oh, what the hell did you do, Jared? He's like, I didn't do nothing. What the hell? So he went in there. He, he comes back. He, he's mad as shit. He's like, man, they think, man, they think um, uh, that I, uh, I, I, I did arson because there was a house that was burnt down maliciously because there was like, I think, a gas bottle right next to it. And it's right next to the school. So what the cops ended up thinking is it has to be someone around the area and it had to be like a, maybe like a kid or something because the house was, I don't know if it was abandoned, but it was right next to the school. So what they ended up doing is coming right to the principal and being like, is there anyone in your school that's potentially, you know, that, that kind of fits, you know, fits the description of someone who commit arson, which un <laughs> luckily for my friend Jared earlier, when he was a kid, you know, when he was a small child, he had, he liked to burn quite a few things. I forgot how, I don't think he got charged with arson, but he liked just setting things on fire. So he's got like the history. He's got kind of a history of uh, playing with fire. So you know what the cop, do you know what the principal said? Ah, oh, yeah, nah, Jared. Yeah, nah, he, he used to, you know, he used to set things on fire. He's a bit of an arsonist. So the cops end up wanting to talk in Jared. The cops end up, in, in, ended up having, having to talk with Jared, you know, obviously he didn't do it. Like, I, I, I know the cuz he, he's a dumb cunt, but he wouldn't do that. And plus, he was with me the whole goddamn day. I saw him. He couldn't have gone. But bro, Jared was so pissed. He's like, man, what the fuck did they think I'm bloody burning a house right next to the school? This shit's bullshit, man. And like me and my other friends are like, bro, you shouldn't. I mean, you're, you're like a weeb because you're like, at your house, you have like knives, hunting knives on your wall, a bow and arrow, basically. And you used to play, you, you know, you used to play with fire on your kid. And when I say play, you did a bit more than play, but, you know, we'll, we'll leave that out. Hey, dad, just nearly caught. <laughs> sure, I was about to get convicted for bloody, for bloody arson. Oh. He wasn't going to get convicted. They have no evidence of him doing it anyway. So anyway, next story. This one, this story is, <laughs> the story is about me. So it was uh, for my friends, RJ, Jordan, Jared again, and I. I was basically in the middle. Me and Jordan were sitting next together. We had a substitute that was obviously, you know, subbing for our, um, subbing for our bloody uh, teacher because he went out somewhere. And, uh, Bro, I'm like very dumb sometimes. Like if someone gives me a dare and I'm bored enough, I I usually do it. So, <laughs> what the fuck? My my friend John's like, hey hey no 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 G, you you want you want a couple of dares? I'm like, yeah 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 yeah. Do a couple of dares, you know, small ones. They're not like disrupting the class or anything. Mind mind you, I'm at the we're all at the front of the class in the middle, in the middle at the front. So. With this situation, Jordan's just like, oh yeah, yeah, Najee, you should um like tea oh, what did he say? He said he he said like do something dumb or something, or maybe I don't know. For some reason, my dumb ass thought because the teacher, imagine this, okay. Four friends sitting in the middle at the front. The teacher's like literally right in front of us, but she's turned the other way, writing on the whiteboard. Your friend tells you, Oh yeah, nah, Najee, do something dumb. So I was like, okay, bet. So what I end up doing is I get like two of my fingers and just start like rubbing circles around my nipples. And um, yeah, the teacher turned the other way. 
and just for like two seconds i'm just rubbing circle around circles around my nipples while she's just looking at me disgusted <laughs> oh bro that shit was horrible I'm like the funny thing is i was like keeping an eye on her because i'm like oh please just turn the other way so i can do like some dumb shit she turns away i do it like immediately and then she turns back basically a second after she turned to the board and just sees me just fucking looking and just just rubbing my nipples okay third story so uh this one is just kind of simple it's literally just i'll tell you guys this if you've ever met like a group of islanders they can all be straight like trust me this group was definitely straight because i mean they literally have kids i know one that i mean the cousin that one of the cousins literally has three kids right now but they will act like a gay and you guys might be like oh no that's just the boys it's just like no 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 when i say gay when i say gay with islanders bro they take it to a whole nother level they just start they just start doing things that you know a straight person shouldn't be doing so what they end up doing uh i think it was it was one of my other mates i wasn't there i think it was my uh my dog phoenix oh no nah, couldn't have been it was one it was one of them i think it was rj or phoenix so what ended up happening is um is usually so there was like a tap outside the cooking room right and it's like near the field and usually if you can't if like all the other taps you know like the drinking fountains are fucking full we just go to the tap just open that bitch up you know drink up so i think it was rj rj's just walking i just just walking up to like the host tap there's obviously people already there the islanders they're just there and you know rj's waiting for his turn all right these cuzzies all, 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 all he hears and uh, all he hears and sees is these guys going rj i need a drink one like starts like drinking i forgot who started they just start drinking and then for some reason they start making naji what watch this he starts like sucking and like making slurp sounds on the hose not on, like on the hose tap not on the hose but on the hose tap so imagine this because he's just he's just there like naji naji watch what's this g starts making slurpy sounds and sucking the hose tap obviously and, bro, Again, Archie was probably just staring at him like, what's this cuz he doing? What's this gay cuz he doing? Fuck. And then, you know what the Islanders do? They're like, Archie, Archie, this is how you do it. So all of them, right, one of them just grabbed the hose tap by like the, by like the wall and just starts fucking sucking the goddamn thing and making like the most outlandish slurp sounds. They were like, <laughs> like, hey, what the fuck? These cuzies are doing a madness on the fucking tap, bro. What the hell's going on? There's four of them just trying to like suck this hose, the hose tap like a dick. It's just four of them making slurping sounds, and if we're just like looking at them like, what the fuck is up with these guys? These, these guys are fuzzy. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I'll do one one more quick story, and just to wrap this wrap this up. It's a very simple one, but we've brought it up multiple times to um Jared. This is another Jared story. This was back in like year now year nine or ten so i think he was walking home oh no 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 he was walking to a class and um i think this day um because we we're an all boys school and a girl a girl like a couple girls came to the school because they were doing like debates against us because uh our school would do like debates and there was like like a couple events where girls ended up coming to the school you know yeah so need, need, you know need some girl exposure but so jared was walking to a class and there was um these girls also walking to whatever class they were going to jared's walking member so they're they're like far apart right but well, actually no 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 what am i talking about so jared's walking and uh walking let's say let's just say going like uh south he's walking going south girls are going north Oh, girls are going west i mean so they're walking directly towards jared and as like 
I, I forgot who saw. Basically, the girls literally looked up at Jared, made some sort of gasp or like some some shit, and literally just crossed to the other side of the road of where they were walking. Well, the other side of the footpath, as far away as they could get from Jared, and Jared's just walking straight. And I think it was Jordan that like saw the shit happen, and Jordan's over there laughing, cracking up like, oh, hey. Uh, that would have felt ratchet as no girl i've never seen a girl look at someone and it was both of them as well both of them looked at him did some sort of reaction and walked the other side of the path they bought a nothing they literally just looked at him oh oh fuck no nah. walk to the other side imagine that and your friend and your friend that you didn't even know was like um saw you just tells you later it's like oh how's that uh how's that or that girl situation I would be gut I'm like nah shut up cuz nah 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 man ah just let me go bro that shit's embarrassing it's not even like because it's like a girl but I've never seen anyone I don't know if they're disgusted like surprised like what I've never I've never had or seen a situation like that where someone looks basically right at your face goes oh walks the other side and just you know you're, you're just there just basically getting told get fucked like, that's just ratchet Chris <laughs> piece of cuzzy jared that shit was just oh man we bring that up so much over the years <laughs>